the wall thickness and the windows. So I forgot to mention that um, I kept the shell before I started extracting, so I kept a copy of that. Let me show you. So as you can see here, and I modified it a little bit because things change, you know, when you uh, size things, start sizing stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold down. Um, actually, I'm gonna get rid of these for a second. I'm just gonna hide them with Control H. So here's what I have. So you can see that I have all this um, all these pieces that uh, we modeled right now, and um, behind that I have that shell it's not in the best position you know I can actually go ahead and uh, <coughs> um, resize it and uh, but uh, but the thing is we're not gonna see it we just need it in order to um, cover up all the missing parts like uh, the the wall space so that's the wall space. So we actually what we need to do is like select it, select this shell. Let's let's uh, isolate it for a second, and let's look at it from the right view. I think that's fine from here. Front view. There's a little bit of a. Some of these are kind of a little bit off right now, but overall, what we need to do with it is just give it a thickness. So I'm going to extrude that. And I'm going to go opposite and make like minus uh, 0 0.15. Ah, uh, no, that's that. 0 0.15. That's 0 0.115. 0 0.15. So I extruded inwards. That means that it was kind of a, an inverse extrude. So the whole mesh is like showing inside out. So I'm going to select the whole mesh go to the the mesh display and reverse the normals so now we get this um, this is a little off here.